This week at the Chateau. Tony gets a heavy machinery out and discovers some hidden treasures. Tracy repaints the stone wall in the lobby and the pair tackle the roof in the cottage salon. My name is Terry and with my partner Ash, mum Tracy, dad Tony and nephew Jonathan, we are leaving our hometown of Middlesbrough for a new life in France. To restore this beautiful 18th century castle. From living in caravans during winter to tackling years of neglect keeping her dry, discovering more about its past and bringing it back to its former glory. Not forgetting Louis, Sasha and Patrick. This is Chateau de La Lasalle. So Tracy's done a great job of cleaning the ceiling beams here in the salon and next door in the lobby. So next thing for me to do is to get some woodworm treatment up there and, uh, and then we can think about uh, moving on to the next phase. So in here we're going to leave the beams exposed. We'll just put a light stain on I think once all the treatment's uh, been applied and dried out. Um, but next door and in the kitchen we're just going to board the ceiling so um, just need to get the treatment on and then, um, then we know it's it's sort of safe for the next few years. So we're getting on to putting some of the final touches uh, here in the salon and one of the last things we're going to do is just fill in this what used to be a little shelf uh, we're going to board over it but before we do we're just going to leave a little memento 
Jonathan's going to put one of his favourite trucks in there, and we've signed our uh, signed the back of the of the uh, insulation we're going to use. Yeah. So we're going to pop that in, and then in a hundred years' time, when somebody, somebody pulls might pulls it down or it falls down. <laughs> <laughs> They'll find this. How exciting. And I'll know what trucks used to look like in 2021. And then you know, Tracy and Tony and Jonathan were here. Not that Tony. Okay, you're going to pop it in then. Yeah, oh, shall Lana put it in? Oh, good. That's it. Yay. There you are. Shall we put this in? One, two, three. Oh. I don't actually. Yep, just find it. That car there. Hey! Perfect. <laughs> On to the next job. So while we've got a bit of nice weather out here in the uh, outside the cottage, what well, one of the jobs we have to finish is is to get the drain water off the uh, roof away. And what we're going to do is we're going to collect it in a couple of uh, IBC type containers and use that for watering plants around the place when the uh, when the nice weather kicks in. Um, so obviously what we need to do is is put a couple of couple of underground pipes in, um, just normal drain pipes, and then we'll uh, we'll run the ends of those into the tanks. So a little bit more digging for Tracy and uh, and I think I'll have to join in on this one, and we'll get some uh, get some pipes from the local bricko and and get cracking with that. This will have grass or something around here anyway, eventually. Yeah.
Dobrze, Godek. So now that uh, all the guttering's finished here over in the cottage, um, it, it's time to, or it was time to, uh, to get this drainage all sorted out. The old drainage used to run straight into the field just uh, just next to us, and um, what we're doing is just reinstating that, but with some new pipes that we know are, are going to run, and um, we're going to use a couple of storage tanks so we can collect the water and then use it for uh, for watering when we get some grass and, uh, and flowers back up uh, around the place. So our first step was to, to, get these, uh, to get these pipes run and um, we're just one, sh one little piece short so I'll go and get some, uh, some in the morning and get this finished off. Um, but for now it's uh, shaping up nicely. We'll do a few showers uh, in the next couple of days so it'll be a good test so just to see how they do perform. Um, we've tried a little bit and there's no there's no leaks as such, um, but we'll see what they're like under pressure. Obviously, uh, as always, we found a few little uh, little and bits and pieces while we've been digging up amongst all the roots. Um, no idea what this is, some sort of a metal ring. Could be too small to be a, a barrel or anything, so could be off some sort of uh, farm animal, sort of halter or whatever, really don't know. Um, and the usual uh, French finds, broken bottle tops, a lit, the top of a little perfume or uh, or a scent bottle maybe. Um, would have been nice if we'd found the whole bottle because it's got quite a nice shape to it but c'est la vie. And of course uh, the usual bits of, uh, of pottery. That looks like it's been the top of a, of a, nice, uh, a nice mug and this is... Uh, obviously some sort of a plant pot or, uh, or serving dish or something like that so no treasure unfortunately So here in the lobby the next couple of jobs to do are to get some tiles down uh, we're going to have the same tiles through here and uh, and into the salon so so that'll be a big job when we get started we need to find some tiles first of course but one thing i can get on with is to uh, to do some pointing on this wall um it's more or less clean down and um what i'm going to do is is try a bit of pointing and, and see how it goes as long as the boss is happy i can uh, i can crack on and get the rest of it done but uh, I'll try a little test piece and, and see how that goes. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm just on the final bit now of rendering this wall. It's looking amazing, as everything else is. Uh, last little tiny bit to do and then give it all a brush down, good clean and ready to get all the plasterboard in here and all the plastering done. As you can see, it's pretty rough up there, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get that last bit done, but it'll be great when it's done. While I'm in here, Tony's in the other room finishing the last bits of the ceiling ready to get the plasterboard on in there and then we sort it, tiles down, job done. So while Tracy's uh, finishing off the pointing next door, I'm just uh, filling in some of the little gaps and, uh, and cracks we've got here in the ceiling of the salon. Um, this is the original finish under here, so I'm just using some lime uh, plaster to, uh, to fill in the gaps. Uh, little repairs, nothing serious. There's one or two areas they had to do a, a proper repair on, but it's just filling in cracks and seals. Um, Hopefully I'll get that finished in, uh, I've got the other half to do, so it'll take a, probably the rest of the day to finish off and then get it rubbed down. And then we can get some, uh, get some white paint up here on the ceiling and get the, the stain on the beams. And, um, and then we can, we can forget about the, uh, the ceiling, that's it finished. The only thing we'll have to do is put some lights in eventually, but that'll be after Christmas.
Well, another busy couple of weeks, my dear. Mm. Work on the cottage is coming along really nicely now. We've uh, been doing a little bit outside when we've had chance. The uh, finally got some uh, some drains put in from the the gutter pipes. Yeah, from all the right along the guttering. That was a bit of a a bit of another digging adventure. Oh, we love a love. We love a dig. Just a bit. Uh, yeah. Getting all that drainage in now, so it all runs out into the field. I mean, when it rains here, it really really rains. Yeah, we get um, a bit. Yeah. The well, we've left, the, <laughs> we've left the pipes just sticking out into the field at the moment mm -hmm. and uh, the plan is to put a couple of uh, water containers in there and then we can uh, reuse the water for uh, when we get some grass and we get some plants and going. Some plants. Um, it'll keep keep everything uh, with good, good fresh, well, clean water. Well, save us on water as well, won't it? And save a bit of money, yeah. That's yeah, always a bonus. Yeah. Inside hasn't gone too bad either, no. really. Beams are done. Ceiling's done. Yeah. We've had a uh, walls. Yeah. Very first time I've had a go at pointing walls, and it was yeah. Well, I don't think you you let us let the team bad. down, my love. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, all right for a first timer, eh? really. I think yeah. um, we just need to, uh, to to seal that a little bit, maybe. Mm. Um, yeah, well, it needs a, a, a bit more of a clean down than some sealer on it. Um, Perfect. But it does look good. Um, it totally it, changes it, the yeah, room. It's a totally bit of a changes. Wow. It's lovely. Uh, when we get the stairs down there. Coming down them stairs, yeah. looking at that wall is yeah, it's, just pretty it's amazing. It's going to get fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And then in the uh, salon, like you say, we've got the uh, the ceiling beams have all been uh, cleaned and stained, stained, cleaned off all of the uh, ceiling panels, and and got uh, some uh, some we white actually, paint on there. We've started with some real paint. Really? I know. Yeah, it feels like decorating. There's something mm, wrong yeah. because <laughs> yeah. something we have here? no electric, but we started decorating. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Ah, well, you say that, but that's the next mm, job, really. Yeah. The next thing is to get some insulation uh, and wall boards up on yeah. the outside walls. And while we're doing that, obviously, we need to run we'll the, the, the conduit and the cable mm -hmm. um, up the walls to where the sockets are going to be. So yeah. we will actually do a little bit well, of wiring, yeah, shall we? Well, so I think that'll nice be the next, next two weeks, won't it? It'll be uh, electrics in. Unless the sun shines, and then we might do a little bit of sunbathing uh, and no, uh, tomfoolery. No time for that at all. Not one or two <laughs> oh well living hope <laughs> but yeah so um, not much on the chateau this week really uh we're waiting for terry and ash to come over now just to get the for them to start on it really isn't yeah, it the, I mean, um, uh, the outside's just about watertight we've done most of the prep we can inside yeah. without getting into any details yeah um the builders up on the roof have uh, have got um three quarters of the back gutter in done now so so that's just about yeah. finished Two more i think weeks, uh, i think terry finished. and ash are, uh, are holding off because i think mm. they've seen how high the scaffold is to be <laughs> honest and i think that's the problem yeah. but um yeah hopefully we'll uh things have seemed to be going okay um mm. over in the uk so yeah it's all rolling now isn't yeah, it yeah so well we've got paintbrushes ready for them um mm. otherwise we'll be back to diggers mm. next few weeks so um, we've hope uh, we hope you've enjoyed this week's little uh, little exclusive and um if you've uh, if you have please like and uh, share and and um i think the details should be on the screen below us again this week